Every autumn, the hills around Julian turn to a golden yellow. Fruit ripens, and so does the tourist trade. It's harvest time, and around here, that means apple picking time. It's the sweet smelling season that farmers and apple lovers wait for all year, when the battle against bugs and bad weather pays off in the form of Roman beauties, Jonathan, Macintosh, and delicious reds. But even with this year's rainfall, the apple crop is only a third of what it should be. A bad break for growers like Bud Farmer, who's been in the apple business for all of his 56 years. In this year's crop we have now, the buds formed in June a year ago. And at that time... So these apples were actually formed a year ago when there was a drought going on. That's right. That's right. Uh, the good crop will come a year later. It always does. When you lose two-thirds of your crop, doesn't it bother you? Doesn't it worry you? Yeah. You're not a farmer, so we, we, uh, we're a gullible bunch of different individuals, and we, uh, we expect it. We know that can happen. We expect it. We don't like it, but uh, we expect it. If Bud's had a hard time picking enough apples this year, he's had a harder time making apple cider. Everybody loves apple cider, including bees. Thousands of them. For the past few weeks, the heat and sweet aroma has drawn almost every buzzing pest into Bud's cider shed proof that it's no picnic mashing apples for juice. It's a hot and sticky process, and if the smell doesn't get to you, the bees will. But for Bud, a few stings are worth the pleasure of sharing homemade cider with friends. And that's what he does every day at his roadside fruit stand. This stand features almost every local fruit and vegetable, be it fresh, dried, or liquefied. It gives people an opportunity to share the harvest, and Bud, the best reason to stay in the apple business. We're very individualists. Farmers are a bunch of pig heads and don't want anyone. We want our freedom and we want them to pay for it. Janine Tartaglia, News 8, Julian.